Hi. I have one of those lovely triangle boxes. Welcome to an unboxing. I was recently on vacation. Just got back and trying to catch up on some of my um, replies to to some of my video comments and things like that. Um, and I happened to notice that an acquaintance of mine was selling a flute and I contacted him about it. And I had recently just purchased my first new to me flute from this maker, who is John Stilwell of Ancient Territories Flutes. And, um, which was this flute, which is one of his, uh, oh, I forget what, what he calls it, but it's basically a custom flute. They're kind of one of a kind flutes. That one is made from purple heart and flamed maple with a pretty unique design, the way it's, uh, been created. This flute happens to be from the same material, different key, um, but purple heart and flame to maple again. And let's see here. My my friend and acquaintance, who also lives here in Oregon, purchased this from the original owner. And I believe they had maybe special ordered it. Um, And I believe this is in the key of E. Person that ordered it, it turned out to be a little bit too much of a reach for their finger spread. The person that I got it from had checked uh, the Ancient Territories website to find out what the distance is between finger holes, which they had listed. And the spread, especially here on this bottom three, is a little bit more unusual versus uh, many flute makers. Bigger space here, it's a pretty big stretch to get to that last finger hole, but with some of my great big flutes that I'm used to, I didn't think I was gonna have much of a problem. It's a different reach, it's a different feel on this flute. I have another flute that is very similar to this, so I don't think it's gonna be a problem for me. But this one, the uh, it's still a two-piece routed design. So he routes the two halves and glues them together so that the seam is top and bottom again. And that, that does a couple of different things. It allows him to do this type of a uh, woodworking uh, joint or angles on the creation of that. This one, uh, the, the main flute body is all purple heart. The mouthpiece is the flamed maple 
the outer sides of the block is flamed maple. The center is purple heart. This particular one does have his uh, wet out protection added to the flute, which I believe is, is a, I don't know the name of it, but it's, I believe a type of plastic that helps to absorb moisture. Um, instead of creating the little droplets that cause problems in sound quality. It has that uh, kind of a triangular shape. It has a flattish surface across the top. And then it kind of angles in towards the bottom, but the bore is round. This is in the key of E. Here's the voice. Very nice. So after learning about them through my first purchase of a new to me flute, I felt pretty comfortable going ahead with this one. The, the stretch is, is no problem. It's a little bit different, yes. Nice tone. I think it'll be easily doable for me and my playing styles. Newsflash. So after I did most of the, well, no, after I did all of this unboxing video and taking a first look at my new ancient territories flute i decided to test it on a tuner and i discovered that this isn't tuned to a440 standard this is tuned to the a432 standard that some people feel is is like a healing frequency or the the natural frequency of everything surrounding us. And I have to make a decision now. This flute sounds great. 
beautiful tone, but I can't play it with my other standard instruments unless I try to somehow change the tuning on a guitar or something like that. I can, I can tune that differently. A piano, not so much, you know. Um, you just, you don't tune 88 strings on a piano and change the tuning of the whole thing. It just doesn't work. Um, it doesn't work to change the tuning on a rav drum. You can't change the tuning. You can buy a different one that might be tuned to that standard, but then you have to have two of everything for that. Uh, that's not going to work. So I've got to make a decision. Am I going to keep this and work with it? I did test it by turning the block around backwards and it gets close to 440, but not exactly. I could maybe make a different block to work with this. That, that could be a possibility. Anyway, I'm going to have to do some thinking. Back to the regular video. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click the little bell down over there so that you can be notified the next time I post a video. It might be a full review when I take a closer look at some of the flutes in my collection. There are many here that I still have not done a full review on. So you can be notified of that. You can be uh, aware of my tutorial videos on how to play these wonderful instruments. Music videos incorporating the flute as kind of the centerpiece to my music. It could be a solo uh, flute tune. It could be, and I don't call them songs because I feel a song has words to it. That's why I call my music tunes. It has a melody, so it's a tune to me. That's, that's how I refer to my music. Anyway, it could be a music video where the Native American style food is showcased as the kind of the centerpiece, either solo or it could be with other instruments. Uh, sometimes some of the more traditional instruments, drums, rattles, things like that or more modern instruments, keyboards, guitars, that type of thing. Uh, steel, tongue drums, uh, in my case, mostly the rav drums is what I enjoy the sound of combined with the flutes. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have an awesome day. Take care.